If you are tired of grinding badges on NBA 2K19, make sure you hit up my boy Sports TMB. He is the fastest badge grinding service out there. Also, if you're looking to buy or sell an account on NBA 2K19, he does that as well. So make sure you hit him up, tell him that that boy sent you, and he will hook you up. What to do what it does, YouTube. We have found the build. All the builds I've posted have been really, really good, but I haven't found that one build that fits my play style perfectly. Right, the power forward was good, the post scorers were good. The guards were good, but this build fits what I want in a big man. I want to be dominant. I want to be able to rebound. I want to be able to shoot a little bit. And I want to be able to not only support my teammates, but if I have to score, I need to be able to score. So we're going primary athletic finisher, secondary post score. Look at these badges. Posterizer, relentless, Hall of Fame. Pick and Roller Hall of Fame, it's all right, but Relentless and Posterizer Hall of Fame, I can't explain to you how overpowered those badges are. Look at all your gold badges, man. You're still getting your gold brick wall, your gold bruiser. When this build hits 99, and I will hit 99 this year, look at all the Hall of Fames I'm going to have, man. These silver badges really did it for me, though. You're still getting silver, drop stepper, and post spin, acrobat, and difficult shots on silver, and it's not a post primary? That's crazy, man. Rim protector on silver, one man fast break on silver, quick reflexes silver. You're also getting mid range dead eye on bronze to help you shoot. That's great. Defensive stopper bronze, and you get free throw ace, which is big for me as a pro and player. I needed something that got free throw ace, and this is a center build that gets free throw ace. So that is great. The badges on this build are second to none. This is a Wilt Chamberlain build, man. This will th this build will just be absolutely dominant in the paint, and it can still move and defend because the athletic primary gives it a little more speed than these other builds now most people with the center go 7-3 and i thought about it but to me it's just too stiff and too slow i still want to be big but i can't have this 37 or 34 speed i can't mess with that so i'm going to drop it down one inch guys one inch and look at what it does for me my vertical goes up to a 47 my speed goes up to a 44 that plus 12 or 13 difference whatever it was is going to make a big deal i promise you especially when you're playing threes in pro am getting up and down the court as you're as a big man that's important um on the twos not so much but on the threes and pro am it will make a difference over time the weight honestly as a big man you gotta have some weight behind you i could leave it here you see my contact dunk is at an 86 and my acceleration is at a 61. So that acceleration is crazy for the default weight, but I decided I'd rather max out the weight because look at what it does to my contact dunk. And contact dunk, it can be a great bailout, especially uh, if you're getting clamped up. You max it out, your contact dunk goes up to a 92. I didn't show it, but trust me, I looked at it. It goes up to a 92 and your acceleration, I believe, goes down by five. We're gonna look at the stats at the end here. Um, but you see my, my shooting is in the low sixties. If I leave it at the default, if I go minimum wingspan, my open shot, um, goes into the mid sixties, but it's just not worth it, man. You got to max out the wingspan. In my opinion, I go down to whatever it was high to mid fifties for mid range. But honestly, if you know how to time your jump shot, you'll be fine. You can look at the ratings here. This is the caps. Honestly, this build looks really, really good. You say 76 rebounding. Yeah, if you know how to rebound, you're going to get position. You're going to be fine. It's 44 speed, pretty fast for a center. 45 vertical, very good for a center. Most centers vertical is in the 30s. And that's the build, man. 83 strength. This build is going to be a monster. I promise you. If you're not a good player, I don't think I'd recommend it. But if you know what you're doing on this game, this build will be unstoppable.